Well, hello everyone, what is going on? It is the Almighty Jeff, and I'm here with episode 4, is it, of Assassin's Creed 2, the Ezio Collection. In the previous episode, we... actually, no, is it? Yeah, it is episode 4. In the previous episode, we helped out our family a bit. We spoke to both our mother and our father. And we pretty much helped them out with the... that was the wrong button to press. Um, we helped them out with a couple of chores, although it did seem a lot of guards running in the direction of the auditory home. We did also pick up all the remaining feathers and treasures in the area, well, in the San Giovanni district. So we have nothing else to concern ourselves with except for the main story. So, have a look at our map. We need to return to the auditory household to progress. But I'm not liking the look of it because I already know what's happening. I'm sure the majority of you guys do too, whether you've played this or not. It's a bit like the ending to Red Dead Redemption. Everyone knows it, regardless of if you've actually seen it or not. Good catch. Let's go. Father? Federico! Serezio! I'm sorry, I'm so sorry! What happened? Where is everyone? They took your father and brothers to the Palazzo della Signoria, to prison. And my mother, my sister. Ezio. Claudia. Are you alright? Yes, but mother... She's in shock. They... When she resisted... It's not safe here. Is there some place you can take them? Yes, yes! To my sisters. Good, do that. In the meantime, I'll go see my father. Be careful, Messer Ezio. The guards were looking for you as well. Uh oh. Jailbird reached Giovanni's cell at the top of the. At the top. The. Uh, I think that's a bit of an error there. At the top of the Palazzo della Signoria and find out why he has been imprisoned. We have actually climbed to the top of there, we got a viewpoint. A couple of episodes in the go now, that would have been episode 2, wasn't it? That's when we did all the viewpoints. Still playing the happy Florence music, even though something darker is indeed happening. That was not meant to be a pun, due to the time of day either. Alright, so we need to be at the top of that tower over there, just ahead of us. So, let's take to the rooftops and find out what's going on. I mean, they were speak of a conspiracy before. Maria told us about that with the Patsy family, who we have already, of course, we have, of course, already encountered. Because we had that fight with Vieri in the first memory. But it seems that there's more to it than he's just being the high school bully. Even though I'm pretty sure high school isn't really a thing in this game. I mean, of course, the education system exists, but not quite as we see it. I just keep ranting today. I've recorded a lot of videos today. I just keep ranting and raving and everything. But, here we go. And we're still on the rooftops as well, so it means that we can climb up the tower pretty swiftly. I should think. Now, there are guards around here, so let's see if we can do this without being alerted. Well, without us being detected. Which we have already failed, of course. <laughs> and he still missed us somehow, he just walked straight past us. Trust me, I'm doing the t I'm doing the city a favor by taking care of that guy. I mean, obviously, he's keeping us from our family, so he's not good, he's not a good guy. But you know, if he's just a member of the city guard and he just walks past his enemies like that, I'm doing you a favor. You need to recruit someone else, and we're on the wrong side. Nope, not me, not me, not me. Come on, buddy, come on. Come on, hit me, hit me. How dare you? That's right. And boom. Oh, that's how you deal with enemies. Where's the other guy go? Alright, bud. Come on, come on. 
Find me. Come on. You see how your buddy went down. Whoa. Don't keep between me and my family, bro. Bro. So that, that was a bit of a weird combination of words. Alright. Giovanni. What's going on, man? Why have they locked you all up? Conspiracies. Ezio. Father, what's happened? Took a bit of a beating, but I'm all right. What of your mother and sister? Safe now. Aneta took them. Yes. Wait, you knew this would happen? Not the way it did, and not this soon. Doesn't matter now. What do you mean? Explain. There's no time. Listen closely. Return to the house. In my office is a hidden door. Use your talent to find it. Beyond lies a chest. Take everything you find inside. Much of it may seem strange to you, but all of it is important. Do you understand? Yes. Good. Among the contents is a letter, and with it some documents. I need you to take these documents to Mr. Roberto. He was with me in the office this morning. The Gonfaloniere, I remember. Now please, tell me what's happening. Are the Pazzi behind this? There was a note for you at the building. It said, go, Ezio. Go now. Uh oh. Where did we get a note from that? Um, I can't remember. From the pitching coop. You mentioned it, so he's clearly read it. Read that. Okay. Right, so we can't read that. That's a shame. Um, so, obviously, something's going on there. We need to... Return to the Auditory household and find this secret door containing secret things for secret secrets. Right, there's people all over for us. We really need to kind of stick to the skies. Because there are army guards all over the place and they are hunting down for Auditori. Which, you know, is pretty quite weird. Because, I mean, we just seem to be nice guys, you know? Why would anyone want to hurt us, you know? Just, we're just a banker's family. After all, you know what I mean? Nothing... No secret assassins or anything, I'm no. not sure. That is very poor, you know, sarcasm, but I'm not spoiling anything. Let's just put it this way, it's you'll just become an assassin out of nowhere. Alright, what's to be hidden? Family heirloom. Reco recover. Recover Giovanni's documents and deliver them to Uberto Alberti. That was some good, good pronunciation there. So, Father said there was a door here. so we can activate Eagle Vision, and boom! Simple as that, really. Did it even press anything? Just walked up to it. That could have been activated by anyone. So let's find out what's inside. Wow, but you weren't expecting that, were you? The cloak of an assassin. That bloody music, though. Oh, throwback. It appears to be a blade or a bracer. I'm not quite sure which. Might be both. So, there is Messer Ezio in his complete assassin farm, and we have, um, oh, he sealed the letter, come on, in all his, our assassin glory, so let's take it, oh, hello, Granditore! hey, what's with the swords, aren't you supposed to arrest me? No. Oh. What do you want then? For you to die. Well, that's just not well, going to happen, is it? That's not going to happen. So why don't we explore <laughs> other options? Ah. Good point. Yep. See, see how I quickly dispatched that fool. You think you had a good choice? That sound effects though are really nice. Very crisp. Definitely better than the old clinging of metal in Assassin's Creed One. That's a pure, swift strike. 
Right. Where is Mr. Alberto? Alberto Alberti. I love that name. That is just so Italian. It's like Alberto Alberti. Use the tongue in every way you can. Alright, he's down here. Get him. Get him right, he's on him. Getting involved. You can get involved. No, you cannot. Come on. Come on, hit me. Hit me. Whoa. Slurp. Come on. Come on, buddy. Sorry, Alberto. Alberto, sorry. Um, a couple of dead bodies outside your house, but, you know, nothing that can't despawn. It's your auditory. What are you doing here at this hour? It... I, I don't... Wait, child. Take a breath. Collect your thoughts. My father and brothers have been imprisoned. I was told to bring you this. Ah. Uh, I see now. It's a misunderstanding, Ezio. I'll clear everything up. Some dodgy-looking guy. How? The documents you've given me contain evidence of a conspiracy against your family and against the city. I'll present these papers at their hearing in the morning and they'll be released. Thank you, Signore. Of course, my child. Do you need a place to stay? You're more than welcome here. No, grazie. I'll meet you at the piazza. Don't worry, Ezio. Everything is going to be fine. There's a bit something fishy going on there. That guy in the background. You look pretty dodgy. But, okay. We got the assassin robes. Very cool. And I think now we can buy our first bit of armor. So, yeah, we can get the leather spoilers for 2,300 florins. So, let's go ahead and buy that. Very nice. An extra bit of synchronization. Alright, come on. Come on. What even just happened? Ooh, that was a very cartoony blood. Alright, um, I think that is everything that we can do though. We've only got our fists and our sword at the moment. No hidden blade, unfortunately. It shouldn't be too long before we get that. Anyway, uh, where we sit? We're at wait, no, 13 minutes, so we've got a decent amount of time. So let's do the next memory, which I think is the last mission of the sequence. It is indeed. So this is memory 12, yep. Yeah. First sequence contains 12 memories, that is pretty nice. And that is still everything that we can do so far. So let's go ahead and see our father and brothers released and return to normal life. Maybe Giovanni will teach us the way of the assassin, because it clearly was one, otherwise he wouldn't have these robes. All the potential that we could have. Maybe Federico's one too. Let's have a look. Last man standing. Attend the acquittal of Petruccio, Giovanni and Federico. Sounds like my kind of day. Attend the acquittal. Yep, they're going to be acquitted of all their crimes and everything's going to go back to normal. Of course. Oh dear. That's not what I wanted to see. Uh oh. Giovanni Auditore! You and your accomplices stand accused of the crime of treason. Have you any evidence to counter this charge? Yes, the documents that were delivered to you last night. I'm afraid I know nothing of these documents. He's lying! I need to get closer. In the absence of any compelling evidence to the contrary, I am bound to pronounce you guilty. You and your collaborators are hereby sentenced to death. 
You are the traitor, Roberto, and one of them. You may take our lives this day, but we will have yours in return. I swear we will! Father! Hey, Son of a bitch. Grab the boy! He's one of them! How dare you! I'll kill you for what you've done! Guards! Arrest him! Uh oh. That's one brute of a guy. But yeah, there was no way we we're gonna get that. How about that it was putting me down, son of a bitch. Better run, boy. And fast. I plan to. I am absolutely at the Dicci Templars. I'm just assuming they were Templars. These could just be hive men. Well, there you go. That was the plot twist of Assassin's Creed 2, and pretty much the biggest plot twist. Actually, no, I won't say it's the biggest plot twist of the Assassin's Creed franchise, but one of the bigger ones. I'd say, in my opinion, Assassin's Creed 3 holds my biggest um, plot twist. Let's hide. There we go. The Pain of Betrayal trophy. Okay. I'll take my family back and you can have the trophy, but you know. <laughs> Fair enough. The past is the past. Roberto will pay for his crimes. I told you that guy was dodgy. So I guess this is just going to take us straight into the se second sequence. Where are we sitting? 16 minutes, that's not too shabby. Publica I've got a little request for you. I've identified several strange markings that I've discovered right across Renaissance Italy. Now, I don't know what they're doing there but I want you to help me find out. Rebecca has marked their general location in the database with an eye icon, and she's made them glow as well. Keep an eye out. Will do, Sean. Will do. Hello? Serezio, thank God. I've been looking everywhere for you. I, I couldn't stop them, Annette. I tried, I swear. But there were so many guards. Please, come with me. We need to get you off the streets. What if my mother and sister? They're safe. I'll bring you to them. No. It's too dangerous for us to travel together. Tell me where to go and I'll meet you there. My sister's house. Just north of the Duomo. I'm on my way. Alright. So, now obviously we are actually... I need to stop pressing the share button. And that will view that later. Um, we actually are going to be going to a new district within Florence. I can't quite remember what this area is called. It'll be though. Um, because we can just check our feathers for which ones. Um, which is the one that we went to. Yeah, so this will probably be the San Marco district, I would think. So that opens up. Obviously, we've done Ignorance is Bliss. Unfortunately, we can't replay the memories. Oh. Must have lost internet connection. Ah, oh, well, it doesn't really matter. We've got sequence two, which is five sequences long, which is a lot shorter than the last one. We have, of course, got another six viewpoints in the San Marco district. We have the eight feathers now, won't it? Yeah, we've got eight feathers to collect. We have. No, we don't have anything of that. We'll have some new treasures to pick up as well. Now, obviously, as you can see, our face, well, the area where our face would be, is completely red right now. We are fully notorious. Now, this is going to make everything, like, all the collections, viewpoints, all that, ab an absolute arse, because all the guards are going to be on us for the whole time. So what we're going to do before we do that is, well, one of the later memories in the sequence will have us remove our notoriety. So, we'll do up to there first before we start making our way through the collectibles in the San Marco district. Just to make our life a little bit easier. But we have obviously that extra bit of armor now to increase our synchronization. So, even if we do get into a bit of a, a bit of a scrabble, should be too bad. See, look, we're just running past people. I mean, it was hard enough in sequence one. We had um, Vieri's men was all the time but obviously these guys have got swords 
curved swords. Sorry, that's a Skyrim reference. You don't actually have curved swords. <laughs> I don't even know why I needed to point that out. But, actually, we'll, we might as well grab this viewpoint as it is right above our target and, well, we just might as well. Alright, you know, don't complain. Oh, come on. Come on, Mr. Ezio. So, I think it might be more of um, a quick blast through of collectibles in this one rather than split it between memories for this sequence. Just because of, of, of its um, sheer, like, shortness as well. It's only a couple of memories long, it's more of just a... Introduction to all the assassin like techniques this sequence really We've got the La Rosa Colta, which is as we can as it tells us in the corner um, A An area with oh, I can't even think of the word now with a um, Subject 16 thing I can't quite remember what it's called. I don't know where it is though we're in front of the right build. Oh yeah, it will be this one, won't it? So, ah, oh, there it is. Let's do it. Wait, wait, that's that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on, that's computer code. Let me compile it. Oh shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond then. I can't believe this. Okie doke. We got tip of the iceberg, which is a thing to oh, discover one of these. Is... They, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay. okay. Um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh, uh, ugh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. <sighs> okay. Find so it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? That's subject 16, obviously. Oh. oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the animus. In the beginning, unlock the file. Alright. Five of these mythic scenes share a core similarity. Pick them out and you'll be able to see. Yeah, we can see. So it's kind of a riddle kind of thing. So as you can see, it says core. So we can zoom in onto each of these pictures. So I want to look for something that could relate them all together. Okay, so, core and pick. So it seems to be picking the core. So I reckon that's one. That. This. Um, that may be. And 
And there we go. Thing in relevance there was an apple. They all had an apple. Obviously, apples have cores. You pick them. And we earned a trophy, a piece of the puzzle. Let's enter the passcode. We unlock the file. What do we get? So, obviously, you probably missed that. Just replay that. A very small file of two, it seems like, humanoid people. Now, that's just the first part of a 20 part thing as um, Subject 16 mess. Um, I can't speak. As he mentioned at the start, so there are 20 pieces of these, so I will be sure to find them all throughout the course of the game. But for now, let us interact with this and meet Aneta. I think we have the wrong building. No. No, this is it. It is a pleasure to make your acquaintance, Messer Ezio. Annetta speaks quite highly of you. I can see why. I appreciate the kind words, Madonna. Ti prego. Call me Paola. Thank you for offering your home to my family, Paola. It was the least I could do. You must be tired. Perhaps you'd... No, grazie. I can't stay. Why? Where are you going? To kill Uberto Alberti. I understand your desire for vengeance, but the Gonfaloniere is a powerful man. You are not a killer, Ezio. Spare me the lecture. But I can make you one. Why are you going to teach me how to kill? I'm not. I'm going to teach you how to survive. Come. Getting in, learn the ways of the courtesans. All right. Discretion is paramount in my profession. We must walk the streets freely, seen but unseen. You two must learn to blend like us and become one with the city's crowds. My girls will show you how. Okay. You can blend with groups of civilians. Alright. Where well, are you off to, Paola? Blend to become invisible to the guards. Ah. I see. You can sit on a bench. That's a funny outfit. It's this guy. Who do you think you are? Sit down, fool. You can mess with me. Everyone's backing away now. I think we've ruined it. Might have ruined it a little bit. I'm gonna go back to your normal daily lives. Salute. That's what I like to see. Um, you're not doing too great, are we? Ah, there we go. Keep on moving. Follow that lady in the nice dress. These guards in the corner. The bloody fools. You sit there, have your conversation. Nothing at all going on over here. Done. He seems quite well armed, no? Come on, this is just dragging a little bit. Okay. What's going on there? Are we done? Come on, Paolo. How long how long are you gonna make me walk with you? For real? Come on. Can we put an end to this? <laughs> I get it. I get how we're meant to be doing it. You know, I've I've learned. I've advanced in this little period of time that we've been together, but 
Oh, thank you. Are we done now? You're gonna walk right back out again. Bene. Now that you've learned to blend, I'll show you how to use it for more than just moving around. Let's teach you how to steal. Okay. Thief! Thief! Once you've stolen from someone, Ezio, you mustn't linger. There we go. There we go. Fitting in. The first memory of sequence two. Now we are at the 30 minute marker now, so we will call today in just a second. Let's review everything that we've done in this episode. So of course we finished off sequence one from um Jailbird. We did Jailbird Family Heirloom, Last Man Standing and fitting in we picked up a single viewpoint we didn't change our feathers, didn't change any of these looking at inventory, armor, we've got level leather spardlers weapons, we've got our fists, we don't have a sword anymore just realized got medicine, items, we've got feathers, outfits, Altair's outfit map, obviously you can see a bit of discovery within this area, but not much. We'll work on that. And our database, of course. People, who have we got now? We've got in society. I'm not sure what we've read or what we've not. I think we've done. I think we need to do thieves and plus. So. Back a bit, those thieves can work with you to scrap the guards. If you start a brawl, they'll probably fight with you. Just go talk to them, they'll work. Uh, okay. So if you just want to pause and read these entries. Got art merchants, and we have courtesans. Okay, and in contacts we have we've read all these. We have Anetta. We have Paula. Alright, locations. We have the San Marco district and La Rosa Colta. Documents. Um, we've just still got the codex pages that we can't decipher. And letters. This is Father Steel. Oh, yeah, that's the one that um, we gave to Alberto. Of course, we had that first video of the truth. And now we are going to end the episode. Um, so, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And also be sure to share the video. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.